So now we've recorded our data and we want to export it. First of all, if we would want to print something, all the little lines that appear in gray in the background would appear in black, which would be very hard on the eyes. So to make it easy on the eyes, you can just click on the little graph icon that's here and take away the show minor grid and press OK. Then for printing, you can go to File and Print. If you want a PDF, you press Primo PDF. If you want a piece of paper, just print to an actual printer that is hopefully in the lab where you want to use stuff. So you print here, you click OK, and you will get your printed graph. We might want to export data to Excel, for example. The easiest way to do that is to go to the table, go back to our table. We, in the table, we can select the data that we want or we can select the whole thing by bringing the cursor over time and clicking and now you will see that the entire thing has been selected press control C that's the keyboard shortcut for copying programs Microsoft Office find Excel press control V and your data has entirely been copied into Excel. You might want to select only a part of the data. You can either select it directly on the table or go to your graph again. Select only the part of the data that interests you by clicking and dragging over it. Once again, press Control C, go to Excel, press Control V and you've exported your data. The, let me minimize Excel again. One thing you do want to do is to save your lab. So if you go to File and you go to Save Activity As, save it on the H drive, which is your roaming profile. And let's call this lab, well I already have a lab one, lab 1A, one NYA physics and press save and that way should something horrible happen to your data it's saved onto the school's computers and you can go to H305 and use it.